Good Monday, this is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Seafried and Brew. We taped on Friday our quarterly ALCA webcast, uh, which we provide to all of our performance risk subscribers. And we go through not only Dr. Ed going through the national economy and looking at his thoughts on the Fed, but we also go through different trends in community banking and what we think is important for ALCO communities to know what is happening not only in their in own institution, but also with all community banks across the nation. And we look at a number of different trends, but I think one of the ones that I'd like to point out is the trend in non-current loans in here that the trend in non-current loans is showing now three consecutive quarters of declines. So as we think about that, it's still at very high levels. For instance, it's still at a 3.23% of total loans, which is still very high. But the key is, is that we've had essentially one, two, going into our third quarter of declines where we definitely peaked out close to a 3.70 back last year. And this is very important to look at, especially in prior webcasts where we look at that six-month forecast for the economy. And with that six-month forecast looking very good for economic growth, exceeding, in our minds, 3% here, is that the expectation would be that we continue to see a drop in non-current loans nationally. So we can sit there and say that the economy is helping it. Also, that we also talk about the lag in non-current loans happening, you know, after we go through a credit cycle. And this lag has been on the longer side compared to historicals. But then the overall level of non-current loans has been higher than what we've seen in other historical credit cycles. So this is a situation that I think is very positive news going forward, and we'll keep you aware of this as we move on quarter to quarter. Another thing that we've talked about is in 2012, our feeling that we're going to see net interest margins compressing in here, but essentially, if we look at 2011, the trend in the national benchmark of community banks has really seen the net interest margin heading up somewhat and then leveling out this quarter declining by only two basis points. So we have not seen the compression within community banks. We know that community bank management teams are worried about this in the coming year and that when we look at it, it's still a matter that I think that is pushing on this, of course, is the yields on earning assets. That as we put on those new yield on earning assets, that that gets the pressure going on that net interest margin. But one thing that I'll point out, which is very important, is the cost of interest-bearing deposits. Of course, all during 2011, we saw a decline in this, but what we're looking at right now is the cost of interest-bearing deposits for community banks still hovering around the 1% level. My feeling is, is that this still gives a broad range for all community banks to cut their cost of funds over the next year and especially when we see where treasury rates are on the short end that it would suggest and you've heard me say this before that i think that community banks can cut their cost of funds by a good 50 basis points and still offer rates that are at a good premium to treasuries so when we think about that in terms of this trend in cost of deposits is that that's one piece to take into account. But what we talked with the ALCO meeting participants is that it's very important to be really simulating that balance sheet out through the end of this year. 
sitting there saying, okay, if rates remain where they are, that we then have runoff of cash flows, is that how can we reprice these deposits? At the same time, what are we going to be putting those cash flows on in assets? What is our shortfall? And that then it makes it more imperative that community banks cut, cut their overall cost of funds. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Seafried and Brew. Have a good week.